Is this your new strategy? Yeah. It'll do. Was <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that strategy. Hi, Hi ah! <laughs> We'll get it one day. <laughs> we are so excited about this four part series. This is part three. We are making over every single room in my brother's condo. We've already done his living room and his kitchen, and now we are moving on to his primary bedroom. Let's talk about what this space looked like before. He didn't even have a dresser in his room, which he desperately needed somewhere to put his chones. <laughs> Just putting it all out there. This room kind of looked like a college dorm room. It was a plain navy blue comforter. There was like a Hulk um, stuffy in there from, I remember, uh, this is my brother's room. Oh, he had that when we were kids, so he still had that. That one might have been Tony's. <laughs> No, it's his. No, like, it might have been like Tony brought it into oh, the room. Oh, 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 yeah, but still. <laughs> the good thing was he started with some good pieces that we could work with. He had a gray tufted headboard and two nightstands that had this um, industrial vibe because it was wood with these steel grate type, um, steel, steel grate. One eternity later. Black steel grate legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Black steel legs with great panels. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, honey. In this room, I really wanted to bring some blue in here. I had bought some blue vases, if you remember, in the living room makeover. They're like these tall, kind of um, weaved vase type looking things. So I wanted to pull that color into this bedroom. We decided to paint this accent wall a beautiful gray blue. This is a gorgeous color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me tell you, let me break down what's going on right now. Today is actually Thanksgiving, also John's birthday, and we decided to come here at the end of all the festivities to paint this wall so it's ready to go tomorrow. All right, we are here day two and this wall just looks stunning. I'm so excited. It dried super fast and the paint is very even. You can't see the color, it just looks straight up gray, but it is a gray blue and it's gorgeous. I had to throw on some of my brother's sweatpants because we left the windows open overnight and now it's freezing cold. And here we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, that doesn't look great. The wall is so textured it bled through. Damn. Oh no, what's up with that? Oh! Fudge-sicles. But the good thing is some of it is not. Most of it is. <laughs> we then went to hang some window treatments. Even though he already had the roll down type curtains, those are more for practical use. <laughs> they actually block out the sun. But we wanted to add some window treatments to give the space some luxury and some just kind of elevated look. So we got these very cool curtain rods that were also industrial, similar to the shelf that we built in the kitchen. They had like these pipe look it looks like black pipe in the kitchen we use real pipe but in this one it was just like faux pipe and some gray curtains really gave the space this kind of chic sexy look are we rolling mm -hmm. okay i hand screwed that one in over there practice safety while you're drilling I am doing something, this is way too so not so safe by standing on a chair, but around here we work with what we got. And John's holding the chair for me while I do this. Oh, Good. All right, this is the beginning of a very beautiful dresser from Target. Ooh, look at this beauty. Now time for Dun, dun, dun. Super cool chair. My brother really likes Americana type 
photography and so I really wanted to find some black and white pieces. Black and white kind of just looks nice. It gives like this moodiness to a space so I wanted to go black and white. I found these images. He also really loves baseball so I kind of combined that Americana style with baseball and we got them printed to fit perfectly to these IKEA frames that we got and the IKEA frames you'll notice are the same style frame that we used in the living room. And also he had this one particular photograph, I can't remember who's in it, but he really really liked it and it was like a large format like print. So he got that one printed off and we like based the other photos kind of around that center primary photo that he was like really into. Who was a baseball player and thank you so much for saying that because I actually didn't remember that at all. The last major thing that I wanted to do was create some fabulous pillows for his bed. And I had a very specific look in mind and I couldn't find them anywhere. We did a lot of leather in his living room so I wanted to bring the same elements into his bedroom. And also everything on his bed was blue or gray or maybe an off-white and so I really wanted to bring brown into his bed because we had a lot of brown elements everywhere else and I felt like it really made sense to bring that to his bed as well to kind of break up all the blue and gray. So I was like, I'm gonna make some pillows and I am by no means a professional sewer but I knew that I could do it and I had it in me so I made these beautiful faux leather pillows and when I originally made them I made them way too big so I had to like sew them in by an inch on all four sides, but I think they came out great. So we sewed these two together. Look at it, so beautiful. And now I started pinning this. I'm gonna open it wide open. Now I'm just going to sew a line straight down the middle here so we can get a beautiful stitching there and the same on the side so we can get a beautiful stitching there. I have my smaller piece here that I've hemmed already and then this part which is going to face outward when we're all done is inside. So the two outward facing pieces are facing each other inside right now and then this larger piece is going to overlap this shorter piece and then I'm going to pin it all around and I'm just going to sew all the way around and then flip it inside out. hard to put up so we kind of didn't get any footage of us putting it up but it is there on that wall.
And that's it. That is part three of four. I'm so excited. We're just rolling these videos out every two weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps build our channel. It's a dream of ours to really get this channel going and get out there and get more clients and design and build and just keep going. And if you really like this video, please hit the subscribe button so you can see our videos every two weeks. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Wow! <laughs> I wasn't even looking at your hand. <laughs> I didn't know you had a little fancy hand going on. We then went... <laughs>